going to do a Ginkster's H Eats Eats. This is a hot pepperoni twist. Um, if anyone who's watched my other reviews, <coughs> I did a drunken one last night and I'm hanging. So I'm pretty much expecting anything I eat now. I just want it to, you know, stay down. But we're going to try anyway. Um, I think this is fairly new. I got this from Asda. It was fairly pricey. It just coming in the £2. I think it was £1.88. As you can see, <coughs> I've got the hot pepperoni. And it's made with bread dough. Opposed to whatever. Um, oh, there it is. It's, it's fairly small. Um, the camera's not focusing. Wait, there, there we go. It is fairly small. And it comes in this big package. I mean, it's you can see it there. And uh, when you actually get it out, it's really a diddy little thing. But nevertheless, it looks fairly packed. You know. They describe it as a pepperoni in a spicy tomato sauce with peppers, furry jalapenos, and a mozzarella cheese wrapped in bread dough. Great tasting food starts with blah, blah, blah. Um, and they recommend you only cook it by microwave. It, there is no oven instructions on here. Um, so yeah, apparently it's meant to weigh 170 grams. It is fairly heavy. I reckon it's going to weigh more than that now anyway. Wow, that is a first. That is, oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, yeah, look at that, perfection. So yeah, that's the first one I've ever seen with a spot on target. Anyway, enough of that. Let's uh, see what it weighs after it's cooked. It's going to take me 90 seconds because I've got an 800 watt microwave, I do believe. So we'll try this and we will see what it's like when it is cooked. And believe it or not, it's actually now cooked. Um, yeah, it's hot. It smells really nice. You can definitely smell the bread dough. Um, I can assume this is going to be quite doughy anyway. Let's see what it weighs now. It's quite hot, so it's really quickly. It's lost a bit of weight, as we all expect. Anyway, let's cut it in half. I should go to my spectacular knife rack in the yard. I'm just going to cut this in half with one hand. Have a look inside. You can also smell the peppers, this is quite peppery. Um, yeah, as I expected, it's going to be quite doughy, lots of dough. Let's see if I can just prise that open a little bit. Oh, that is steaming hot because it's just come out of the microwave, obviously. Um, as you can see in there, it's quite cheesy. I can't see any pepperoni, I can see peppers. Um, yeah, let's give this a bite. I'm just going to Burn my mouth, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. Yeah, it's very hot. <laughs> um, that bread's really nice. It didn't go soggy, not even on the bottom. It's not soggy on the bottom. It's nice. It's quite... Um, it just tastes fresh for a microwave thing. I mean, it is a gangsters. So they're like the king of the Cornish pasties. You know, ready to eat ones anyway. So this new Heat H Eat thing, yeah, it's not bad. I think they have other flavours as well. Um, I can taste the, I can taste peppers and I can taste the spicy tomato sauce. There's a slight bit of cheese in there. But there's no pepperoni in this. It's, oh, no, there, there it is. They're like the little pepperoni pepperoni sliced up. Hmm. I'll give that another go. Um, all in all, that's not bad. Would I pay one pound eighty-eight again for it? Uh, maybe not. Is there a pound? Definitely. Um, if you want to try it, yeah, one eighty-eight for a first go. That's not bad. I'll definitely, definitely get that again. Like I said, if it was on offer, or maybe I'll try the other flavors. I'm not sure what the other flavors are. Do they say? Sometimes it says. Nah, it doesn't say. Calorie wise, it's only only 380, just under 400 calories. So for something that size, it's, it's a fair amount. So yeah, I suggest um, if you want it, I'll try it, go back and buy it. I'm back again really quickly. I've just finished the other half, well, one half of this. And as I was eating it, it reminded me of something I've had before. And um, I just remembered what it is. And it is these pizzeria hot pockets that I used to get. I used to live in Canada, you get these in America. And um, they're very, just very much similar to them. And um, as I ate one half, oh, that's, that's really good. I suggest you actually go out and try them if you're a fan of like, I don't know, pizzas and bread. 